At the busy Mercado Oriental open-air market in Managua, thousands of vendors and shop owners are preparing for an act of civil disobedience. A majority of these small business owners say they will no longer pay taxes or utility bills until the government commits to ending the violence that's gripped the country for the last six weeks. We're not going to pay for water or electricity because that's the money the government will use to pay kidnappers and killers. Irlanda Jerez owns a shop here and is one of the organizers of the action. Our money will no longer be used to murder our own people. With more than 20,000 shops and stands, the Mercado Oriental is the largest open-air market in Central America. It generates hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue and taxes every year. Irlanda says the civil disobedience is the most peaceful and efficient way to protest. Our action as business owners is to apply pressure in a legal way. That means declaring civil disobedience and not paying taxes. Not everyone at the market is on board with the strike. Some vendors here blame the demonstrators for inciting the unrest. No way, I will not participate in the disobedience. We want peace so that we can all work here peacefully. Outside the market, anti-government demonstrations take place every day. Dozens of barricades have been set up by protesters along roadways across the country. Mario Arana, the director of the Nicaraguan Association of Importers and Exporters, says the longer the crisis drags on, the harsher the impact will be on the overall economy. If this conflict continues into the end of the year, economic growth will probably drop by two percentage points. This would potentially mean more than $900 million in losses. Political unrest has spilled into some of Nicaragua's most popular holiday destinations, damaging the country's most important source of revenue, tourism. The government accuses right-wing activists of infiltrating the protest movement in order to destabilize the government. Experts say it is still too soon to determine the impact the unrest has had on commerce, construction and tourism. But they do agree that every day the conflict drags on is another step backwards for the people of Nicaragua. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Managua.